our goal is to run between turnarounds with no outages or failures. We wanted a consistent, reliable joint. There are a lot of variables that are really important to the uh, integrity of the joint and maintaining a, a leak tight seal. To achieve zero leaks, we have to believe it to be attainable in order to drive for continual improvement. inspiration for our flange management program here was with the Woodward initiative that was captured in their sealing up safety submission to the Wilson Award last year. The flange is a critical part of the process here. It keeps the product in the pipe. Our maintenance manager saw that and recognized the benefits to having a really defined program to manage the assembly and the sealing of the flanges. At Rotogris, we also had a very expensive temporary leak repair that we had to deal with in September of 2016. So that was a big focus for us and we started digging into performing a root cause analysis as to why so that we needed to develop a system to help us handle uh, how we make up flanges and how we deal with gaskets and procedures in the field, flange inspections. So we created two databases. One is specific to our pipe specs and the other is direct input information. So if we have the pipe specs readily at hand, we can access that and really simplify the program. If we don't have the pipe specs, not a big deal. We have a different method. It's a separate program where it inputs about three or four more data points and still gives you the same outcome. Michael was on the maintenance engineering team at the time, working with myself and a couple others in order to build the framework of the program. When you look at a flange, it seems pretty simple. You've, you've got the two faces, you've got the gasket, you got the bolts and nuts. But as you start getting into it, you realize how many variables are really in play there when it comes to the, the process conditions, temperatures, pressures, gasket type, bolting type, uh, lubrication, washers. So we really just wanted to come up with a way of capturing each successful joint into a database where in the future, as they went back to tighten that joint again, they could use that procedure and that method as they went forward. We worked synergistically with Woodward and Greg's team in order to help us develop this program and trying to implement that at this site. The whole purpose of my position here is to identify potential failures before they happen, to, uh, to try to ferret out the root causes to failures instead of just addressing the symptoms of a failure and then try to prevent them from happening again. We've had in the past a misalignment on a flange and it could be caused because it was over torqued on one side or they over crushed the integrity of the gasket. So we want to try to reduce that risk so we don't have to worry about going back to do a job more than once. What we discovered is that we were really relying on uh, technician expertise and experience to know how tight we should go on a, on a specific flange joint. But we determined that we were actually overstressing our flanges. And so when we went tighter, it just made it worse. So at that point, we just had to back up and find a lower torque value that did not roll the flange. So we had a systemic gap on how we were going to do it technically, but then we also had a systemic gap of, well, how do we get this information to everyone in the field? With with this program, you have your torque step, your star pattern, then your circle pattern, and then your sign-offs by the, the person doing the work. So once that sheet's made for that flange, all you gotta do is go to that folder and everything's there. You don't have to recalculate everything because that all goes into producing that sheet. It helps take our technicians step-by-step step through the process and ultimately it gives us accountability of every flange that's being worked on. Since we've implemented this program in the latter half of 2017, we've had a leak-free startup at each plant. I feel confident that I could give a sheet to a group of boilermakers and then go out there and identify the flanges, take them apart and reseal them and have zero issues on startup. The complexity of this program is immense. It takes multiple variables and the effort to put it together took weeks to come together. It's not business as usual here. We're always looking for a better way, a safer way, an improved way of doing things. Michael, he has been a very, very, very big player in this, and he's put a lot of time and research in it to make sure that we have the right yield. Our facility has hundreds of flanges. So if you add up all the sites, we're talking about thousands of flanges. And the beauty about this program is that it can be transferable to all sites. All sites can use this program. 
I really feel that our program is establishing a sustainable, safe approach to assembling flanges, something that can be transferred to, to each site within the organization and help them improve their safety flange management, and maybe they can provide some feedback to us and help us improve ours at the same time. We have confidence knowing that these flanges have been made up in a systematic way with the developed program. It gives us greater confidence day to day. If we do encounter an issue, we will feed that learning into our program. As with any program, it is a continual, evolving thing. So I think that the program will never be static. At CF, we work as a team. At CF, we do it right. At CF.